Hi, today we're going to cook some Dutch oven breakfast rolls and I'm going to use uh, my cast iron fire pit here to, to cook this in. I have my 12 inch Dutch oven there. So let's put, I'm going to put 10, 10 briquettes on the bottom. Let me grab my tongs. So what we're going to do, we're going to cook some bacon and some onions and stuff first and then we'll kind of, this is kind of a three or so part process, but we'll just set that Dutch oven right there. Set that and then I have a little avocado oil we're going to use today. You can use any kind of oil you want, but we're going to try a little avocado oil. Just kind of drizzle a little bit of that in there. So what we have here is this is uh, was seven strips of bacon. We just cut it up uh, and we're going to put this seven strips of bacon in here. Like that. And then I have a, uh, it's about a cup of mushrooms we just cut up. We'll just put the mushrooms in there. Like so. That one. And then uh, some purple onions. So we just cut up some purple onions, about three quarters of a cup, I believe. But yeah, just three tablespoons. Zero... Or tablespoons, sorry. <laughs> three tablespoons. Three tablespoons, okay. Just kind of suit your own taste. So we'll... I have 10 briquettes on the bottom. Let's put the lid on, and then we'll put about eight on top just to get this going. What I'm going to do. Let's cook this up good and then we'll pull this out and uh, go to the next step where we start making a dough and putting these rolls together. So let me just kind of get this like so, just get a little heat going on the top and let this cook up and then we'll go to the next step so we'll see you back. Should be good to go. Let's take the lid off and see. What what you want to do is get the mushrooms so they're uh, nice and tender. But we're gonna pull this out. There's a piece of grass. Okay. Let's get all this out of here. The train's going by. But yeah, see the bacon's not cooked all the way. The mushrooms you just want it so the mushrooms are nice and tender. Get all this good stuff out of here. Like so. That looks pretty good. We're going to set this aside. Then I have nine ounces of evaporated milk. We're going to pour this in the Dutch oven. Like that. Grab this. Then I have six tablespoons of butter. So we'll put this in here. I just splash a little bit. But what we're going to do here is we're going to just cover this. As soon as that butter is melted, we're going to take this out and then we'll go into the next step where we're mixing the rolls all together. Okay, we're ready to mix this together. So here's the mixture we had out in the Dutch oven with uh, the butter and the evaporated milk have a half a cup of water we're gonna put this in here and then we have a mixture we have four and a half cups of flour five and a quarter tablespoons of sugar one and a half teaspoons of salt three teaspoons of yeast so we're just gonna put this in here like so and then we have a quarter cup of a uh, grated cheddar cheese put that in there and then here's our bacon, onion, and uh, mushroom. Get that. Now we're going to knead this together and make a loaf. Uh, knead it for about two to five minutes and mix this up. And we'll make a loaf and put it in another bowl where that's greased well. And then let it rise. I think it should take about 30 minutes, 
to 45 minutes for that to rise. Then at that point, we'll take the risen loaf and we'll make our rolls and get them in the Dutch oven and then we can go to that step. So, we just kind of do this messy part. But yeah, it's coming together good. It's a little sticky, but just need this together. Okay, we're ready to start cooking these breakfast rolls. So after we made the loaf, we let it uh, rise for about 45 minutes. And then we made it into the balls of the rolls and put them in the Dutch oven. And they've been rising for about 45 minutes. So we're starting with new briquettes. But yeah, look at those, they, they rose up good. So we're doing this at 375. So I have uh, 10 briquettes on the bottom. So this is a 12 inch Dutch oven. So I have 10 on the bottom. We'll just set that like that. Put the lid on. And then to reach 375 degrees, you want 14 on top. Well, actually 16. And I made four extra to set on the side, so I'm gonna pull four off. I actually counted, so I knew. We'll set those off. So we have, there we go. We'll let this cook. Uh, they cook for about 30 to 40 minutes, so we'll check it here in 30 minutes and see how they're doing. See you back. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. This smells awesome. Let's see how these breakfast rolls are doing here yeah they're looking good they're cooking up let's see how maybe I should have got a little fork to poke down in there to test the middle but I think we're gonna give these five or ten more minutes just by looking at the way they are on the side there but yeah they're they're smelling awesome so let's put this back on and we'll cook this for another five to ten minutes and we should be good to go. So we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready here. Let's pull the lid off. Oh, look at that. Nice and steamy. Yeah, that looks perfect. See how golden brown they are on the top? Let me get the fork and we'll just double check. Yeah, feels good to me. So let's dish some of this out. Dutch oven breakfast rolls. Yeah, they're nice. There's two. Yeah, it didn't, didn't stick to the bottom. Where am I gonna put that? Let's set that like that. So I'm gonna put this lid back on for a minute and let's kind of take a look at this here. Yeah, look at that, cuts up nice and flaky. Awesome. Let's take a, mmm. Mmm, that is delicious. This process took about three hours total, but it's totally worth it. These are great leftovers. This is a great meal. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.